Good morning, good morning. Um, actually, it's not quite morning. We've just, just passed the meridian. Um, Sunday, Sunday the 10th of March 2019, the first Sunday of Lent, or as my friends say, le premier dimanche de la carême. Um, Lent, I don't know how many of you observe it, I don't know how many of you know very much about it, but for a lot of people it's a very important period. Uh, it's a good period to reflect. So what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to walk around the estate and have a little reflect on things that I've been up to, things that I've achieved, things that I want to achieve, and yeah, just a, just a little reflection. Well, one major achievement is I've replaced the gate that was rotten. Um, yeah, that's pretty pretty impressive as gates go. And colours are starting to change, not as quickly as I would hope because I've been suffering with wind and rain and all sorts of reasons for not doing outdoor painting as yet. But, you know, things are beginning to change. The flowers are starting to bloom. Plenty of things to change, lots to do with that. Lots more to do with, with all of this. These um, these shutters, well we're we're making progress, but as I say it's it's the, the weather is against it at the moment. And you know old woodwork takes an awful lot of rubbing down and filling and priming and painting and putting another coat on. Major success up there. Nice new double glazed unit in that, that doorway or window way, call it what you will. Quite pleased with that. Uh, it took a bit of huffing and puffing because it's a heavy unit. Oh look, <laughs> yep, I did some washing this morning. I really ought to take the Christmas baubles off that tree, which replaces a dead tree. I've been doing an awful lot of diggery. Uh, looks like I need to do an awful lot more, doesn't it? The weeds are um, beating the crops, perhaps. First time in oh, nearly 40 years, I actually bought some strawberries, strawberry plants. That, that will be good, I hope. And, yeah, that's white onions there. They're not doing so bad. The red onions in the bed next to them are doing nothing much at all. These beds currently are getting potatoes in them. And, you know, I'm chucking wood ash and tea leaves and sawdust, all sorts in, to try and improve this very heavy clay. But things that I'm very pleased with, these wonderful bushes that have wonderful red shoots on them. A bit windy today, isn't it? So that's, that's something that's pleasing. And I'm sort of struggling with where to stand so I don't catch too much wind and not look directly into the sun, but, you know, things are beginning to burst. Buds are beginning to bud. And this is a quince tree. I, I have pruned this one back moderately. The old firewood shelter. That's taken a lot more demolishing than I expected. There's an awful lot of stone in the walls. 
which were threatening to fall down but when I hit them with weapons as it were they were a lot more resilient than I expected that needs tidying doesn't it now various places around the garden there's bits of treasure uh, these are all of the funny bits and pieces that I've found while I've been digging you know if any treasure hunters want to come and help with the digging they would be more than welcome <coughs> oh. this is one of the pieces of work that I've achieved that was a it was a comical sort of job these are well within the bounds of an ordinary handyman to do as long as he's willing to stop and think a bit you start by taking out all of the lining of the roof you know all of this sort of stuff and once you've got that out of the way and it's sensible instead of taking it all out it's sensible to cut it and fold it back then you tease the tiles out and then you cut the battens out and then you make a hole the right size for the window and then you put a couple of battens exactly where you want them to be then you put the frame in and if the frame goes in square Bob's your uncle as it were except if you look at the size of this window, this is quite a narrow skylight, or velux. Most French people call it a velux, whether it's a, a velux or a different make. And when you're standing on steps and you're trying to lift this and turn it and lift it and put it in, you suddenly discover that it's actually a two-man job, except the gap isn't big enough for two men even if I had a second hand here but anyway that went in I'm pleased with that you know that uh, that will let whoever sleeps in this room look at the stars at night except tonight they can't because it's cloudy so that that's one of the jobs the continuing fiddly job is getting all of this cladding this uh, this boarding in which is a slow um, very slow process because there isn't a single square line in this roof nothing is square so each piece ends up being cut individually and measured individually yeah, but that's okay you know it's a little bit like doing a jigsaw and I'm sort of pleased with this this bit of the job as far as it's got and some people are a little bit curious about what all this is all about well this is it's not a banister it's not a wall it's a sort of bookcase banister wall thing uh, to stop people falling down the stairs it's got a feature, you know, a nice roundish sort of pine pole that's going to be all varnished and made beautiful. And at the other end, it's got an oak pole which will be all varnished and made beautiful. That, yeah, it took a bit of thinking, but yeah, it's sort of sort of happening. Uh, my co-designer, the person who keeps telling me what's what's required, keeps looking at the pictures and saying, hmm, could we do it like this, could we do it like that? But it's coming along. And as I say, that'll stop people from falling down the stairs. We've got wonderful plans for what's going to happen to the back of it. The back is going to get some rather interesting work doing. I'm sort of looking forward to that, but... That's a little bit of a challenge for the future. So there we are. There's there's some of the updates, some of the reflections on Le Premier Dimanche du Carême. Oh, and I can hear the kettle whistling. Well, there we are. Dinner has been eaten. Uh, it's 
wonderfully warm in here because I did dinner on Marlene, or Marlene did dinner for me, uh, and she's got the temperature in here up into the mid 70s Fahrenheit because it's not a cold day today. Uh, yeah, the oven certainly warms this house up. So, reflections, reflections, what have we got to reflect on? Progress. Always progress. Uh, my French is progressing slightly. Uh, it will progress even more during the week because I, I've, I've been joined into a gang of local people who play Scrabble. Um, I'm very much the youngest and you know, there's several things in life that I learnt. Uh, you know, there's proverbs about having a tiger by the tail and such likes. Um, how about never play Scrabble with old ladies because they, they will beat you. Uh, I am finding it difficult to, uh, to learn colloquial French as she is spoken but I've got some good friends here who are helping me. I've got a neighbour that way and we stand and talk over the fence about gardening and he doesn't speak any English at all. I've got a neighbour that way who um, he sort of stands there and moans about the government and tax and such likes in French and then he says it all again in English because he is fully bilingual and I'm grateful that I've got friends um, that I've met through the church uh, who don't speak English at all but they're, they're good kind generous people and they, they sort of sit and chat and they ask me what I'm up to and they ask me you know, am I getting enough to eat and things like that and one of them gave me some eggs and it's, it's all rather lovely and all in French as she is spoken. Not one of them speaks English. Uh, that, that does sort of force your hand a little bit. So that, that's all very wonderful stuff. But what I have done, Marlene didn't just make my dinner, She's also made me a cup of tea, which is currently sort of cooling down sufficient that it can be drunk in a moment. So we'll leave it there for tonight. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there, I think.